Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to write a script in SCIT editor. The main aim of this video is to make yourself comfortable with SCIT editor. So we are going to write a simple message box function in SCIT editor. Go to start add programs auto v3 and you will find SCIT script editor. Click here. It will launch an untitled SCIT editor. This is it. SCIT editor looks almost similar to notepad but it comes with an intelligence feature which will display a lot of functions which start with the letter for example if i am typing f it display the list of function starts with f and if you select any one of the function click on tab and if you use an angular back at then it display the number of parameters it can able to hold so these are all some of the advantage of sat editor so we will write a simple message box function first select message box and clicking on the tab followed by an open parenthesis so here you can able to see five different parameters one is flag title text timeout and hwnd which means handle of particular window flag indicate the type of button and the the icon it want to display when this message box is shown up to the user and this title define the title of this message text display the prompt which is shown to the user and this timeout display how long this message box should be displayed and hwnt return the handle of particular window so these last two parameters is inside a square bracket which indicate that these are all optional parameters the first three are not enclosed within the square bracket which means it indicate that these three are mandatory so let's write a first script i'm clicking zero which means it will display only an okay button title hi and i'm going to display text hello world so first three parameters are mandatory so we have used the first pass the first three parameters so now we have to save this script go to file save save it as my first script so if you want to enlarge the screen click on control and zoom in button in your mouse go to the place where you have saved this my first script double click and uh, launch it or also you can click on this a3 and right click and select run script so it is displaying the title hi and the prompt message hello world along with an ok button now let's see how to convert this auto it script into an executable file go to a script and go to tools click on the compile button let it display a message auto it a3 a u t e x e go to this tab and select the output type as e x e and make sure that you have marked this compile x86 version default and click on the compile script now it is compiling the compilation has been done so after this compilation has done you can find the executable file in the same path where you have saved this my first script.a3 so i'm going to the path here you can able to see the my first script as an executable file when you click on it it will perform the same action as this a3 file let's check it out hi hello world and okay button it is playing the same action as my first script so what is the use of executable file means you can transfer this executable file to someone else who doesn't have the auto it installed on his or her system and now let's see how to check the syntax go to tools and here you will find a lot of options here syntax check prod will check for syntax if there is an any error it will display at the bottom for example I am deleting this quotation and I am compiling it. Now I am checking for the syntax here. 
see its display error syntax illegal character it find the illegal character so to avoid that i am again giving this double quotation mark again checking the syntax now it's running ex successfully running a3 check will display the result of this syntax check so it is always recommended to check this syntax before compiling into an executable file thank you for watching this video.